Finally got the engine and transaxle mounted in the car. Uh, it's an Audi 01X uh, transaxle. Got the adapter plate from Eric Martin. I'll put a link to his website in the description below. Uh, got the engine mounted. Uh, getting the engine in and getting the right height was a challenge. And as you'll see in the video, there were a couple redos to make it all work. But in the end, everything's in. Just have to make the uh, support for the bottom of the transmission. And we'll do that uh, coming up soon. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, working on trying to place the motor mounts. There's one down there that's going to get attached to that bracket on the left. But it's really, really tight working down there. So, I do have my adapter plate here shortly, and then I can. I think I'll probably put the transmission on with the engine in, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, took the engine back out. Now these brackets right here and here, the motor mounts are going to be attached to those, but trying to get them arranged with the motor in there is just, it's nearly impossible, there's just not room. So, what I'm going to do basically is create a jig that I can use for actually positioning and fabricating where those supports need to be mounted in the engine. So that's my next step. Okay, after making my jig, I know that's exactly where my motor is going to be, so I just need to tack them up. Okay, engine installed. Connected the plate to the side rail. Centered and leveled. So, next is to mount the transmission. Okay, I got my adapter plate flywheel, clutch, clutch plate, and all the hardware to mount the O1X trans, transaxle to the Corvette LS1. Now I just have to sit down and do it. I checked the clearance for the flex plate in the adapter to make sure that everything was clear and it was. And I installed the flex plate and the flywheel is not shown in this picture. Then we put on the uh, clutch and the pressure plate. Okay, <clears throat> running into some problems. Uh, first of all, where I've got the motor situated, um, it's too low for the transaxle to fit. I cut it out thinking I can do that. But in reality, I need to raise the engine up. So, as you can see down here, I think I've showed this before, the oil pan is slightly below that. Now, the Audi transaxle is different than the Porsche transaxle, which is what I had initially done, thinking the measurements were the same, but they're not. Uh, they axles are really low so the whole thing's got to come up which that means pulling the engine again uh, put some extensions on the motor mounts and try again so it's all part of the process uh, it gets frustrating at times but you got to do what you got to do to make it right here's the revised engine mounts About that time, the jack on my engine hoist failed, so minor delay, but got that fixed, so I can now lift the engine again. Okay, there you can see 
the engine mount, how they're molded to the frame rail. So, should be good. And you just have to put that bar back across and then come up with a mount for the transmission. Okay, transaxle's in. Uh, really nice setup. Quality, very quality products from Eric Martin. I now have to fabricate uh, a transmission support in the back. I'd cut that out earlier before I raised the engine hoist or the engine mounts. But looking good. The adapter plate from uh, Eric Martin is just top quality. I mean, it's actually beautiful work. So if anybody's looking for an adapter plate, I really highly recommend to talk to Eric. Uh, I've got no kickbacks or anything like that. I just think it's good to always promote somebody who does a good job. So, And lastly, I did not get any pictures of Brian when he was helping me, but Brian has been invaluable in trying to get this project done. So I'm grateful that he's out there to help me and steer me in the right directions. So again, thanks so much to my son. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this episode. If you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you did. And be sure and turn on your post notifications. Again, thanks for watching.